So we decided to come up with uh, some topics that address the kind of pros and cons of each. And I'll start with a, a short sale. Yes, um, you're no doubt familiar with short sale. Property's underwater. Uh, seller wants to sell it. Lender wants to get some money out of it. Buyer wants to buy it. Um, there's a lot of uh, pros associated with that arrangement, um, but there's some negatives too that would make it not work. Um, obviously, if you can buy the loan, if you can buy the property out from under the loan before the lender incurs a bunch of foreclosure costs and attorney's fees, uh, the chance exists that the lender will be more agreeable to taking the expected haircut. Uh, you know, once he's started a foreclosure and gotten more into it, he's thinking it's you know the price should be higher. Um, so that's a pro. Um, if you buy the property out from under the loan, obviously you don't have to go deal with the foreclosure and incur your own attorney's fees like you would with buying loan documents. Um, by the same token, you don't have a borrower that you're foreclosing on who's raising defenses and counterclaims in your foreclosure that you know nothing about because you bought the loan but you were not the lender who made the loan. So um, those are all good things. It's Section 363 of the Bankruptcy Code. It allows um, a bankruptcy trustee in Chapter 7 or a debtor in possession in Chapter 11 to sell assets to the bankruptcy estate during the course of the uh, other matters. Uh, now, uh, a trustee can sell property in, in the ordinary course uh, of, of the business of the debtor without uh, court approval. Probably this would uh, impact you. You're going to be looking at real estate assets that are available by some companies in Chapter 11. And what you get if you get the bankruptcy court to approve the sale is you get a sale free and clear of all means with a uh, big old kiss from the bankruptcy judge that says you hold the title and title companies love that so it, it, it's a good way to deal with it uh, in the outline that i put there uh, there are several uh, bases for uh, the court uh, approving sales free and clear of liens and sales can be made uh, if there's a, 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 disputing, a, a disputed lien, or if there's a fight between owners of the company, the court can still uh, authorize the sale of the property as, as long as there's enough money to, to, uh, to uh, cover uh, all potential lien claimants. One of the more troubling things we're seeing with distressed real estate is not only has the owner not been paying the bank for the real estate, but they haven't been paying the local government for their concurrency reservation, uh, for their uh, school capacity reservations, or even worse, whatever payments they have made, they have asked for a refund of those payments. So properties that were previously entitled to be built out have now lost those entitlements uh, by virtue of their concurrency going back into a concurrency bank. That's happened a lot in, in the counties, like Orange County, that have chosen to to keep concurrency. Uh, if you're purchasing property that is that's already uh, built, uh, obviously the entitlement process is a little bit less important. <coughs> I would check and make sure that you don't have any conditional uses that are on the property that would be personal to the um, to the owner. And if if you do, you know, try to work that out um, and really understand that with with the local government. <coughs> 